Hello, Jamie Good here. And this is my um, video blog, my vlog of my journey with sake. Now, I've been to Japan quite a few times, and I think seven times. And while I've been there, I've tasted quite a lot of sake, I've visited sake brewers, but I've never studied it. And I think it's time that I began to study it. So what I'm doing is um, I've got a whole bunch of sakes that I bought, and I want to taste and learn. And so um, there's two routes to that. First of all, I'm going to do a bit of self-study, but I've also signed up for the WSET um, Level 3 Sake course and exam. And exams on the 26th of March. Until then, I've got to get studying. I've also got hold of this book, which is the Japan Sommelier Association Guide to Sake. It's a sake diploma in English, so I've been doing a bit of reading around. Um, uh, so I've got two sakes open now that I'm going to try on camera. Um, and I guess I've come from a position of, you know, being used to flavour. Flavour's my thing, you know, wine journalist. But I'm approaching this um, whole journey with sake as, as a chance to learn. And in some ways I might learn quite a bit about how people find their journey with wine, you know, when they come to wine from a position of being interested but not knowing very much. So maybe I'll become a better wine communicator through this process. So um, sake basics um, made from rice, and yeast and koji, which is a fungus. And so the idea is it's a very complicated manufacturing process. Uh, and a lot of the flavor comes from the process. So you get the rice, um, a lot depends on the type of the rice and also how much it's milled down. And so you'll see on the, the percentage of, of, of polishing of the rice is an important part of um, the production process. And then afterwards, the rice is steamed and it's inoculated with koji, which is a fungus. I believe it's aspergillus is the, the um, genus, but I'm going to obviously be learning a lot more about this. And that fungus then transforms the starches in the rice into sugars. And then we have the, the fermentation process and the yeast strain that's used matters a great deal here as well. So this is really interesting. So, And then after that, there's a few more steps which I'm going to be learning about that affect the flavour. So, so with wine, I guess a lot of the character in wine comes from the vineyard and the grapes. Um, with, with sake, um, a lot of it is about the production process, the skill of the brewer. So I'm starting with this. Um, I've got my notebook. I'm going to use this notebook to collect all my notes in. Um, so I've, this is a, a, a sake from Waitrose. It's £11.99. It's quite cheap. And this is the, the Futsushu category, which is the the very ordinary basic category of sake. So let's see what this is like. And the other thing is that part of this process is, is going to be learning a vocabulary for all the smells and tastes of sake. So part of learning to taste wine is you learn to taste um, things in the wine, you look for things in the wine, you learn to be able to put a word to them, to be able to describe them, so you can write notes. And I think this is why um, this is going to be interesting, because I'm going to have to learn a vocabulary for sake that I don't have. And it's likely that the vocabulary that I learn for sake will affect um, the things I find in the sake, which is a really fascinating interplay. I've always been interested in the language of wine. Now I'm going to get interested in the language of sake. So what about this? First of all, it's very fruity. It's got a sort of plum, stewed plum. And some apple notes as well. It's a little bit nutty. But it's very aromatic. Um, it may not be the most refined nose, but it's a lot to, lot to get there. In the mouth, again, it's not refined, but there's a lot of flavour. It's like rich and broad. It's got lots of it's an intense fruity character, very plummy, stewed plum. Just a hint of dairy as well. Um, but it's quite textural. It's a rounded in the mouth. It's got some freshness. And a bit of warmth as well. What's the alcohol percentage on this? 14 and a half. Um, yeah, it's... Look, this is... Sake aficionados might say this is this is the very basic sort of crude cooking sake or something. Um, but it's it's got some character. I think it's quite interesting. Um, so this is starting point. So now I'm going to try another one. And I bought this one from... Um, I was buying some Japanese cooking ingredients and I saw this there. It looked quite interesting. It was 25 pounds. And this is from the um, Echigo Chuzu Brewery in Niigata Prefecture. And it's um, Koshi no Hopo Junmai. So Junmai, so once you get past that basic category, which is the last one, which is the Futsushu, 
you go into a, um, the um, specially designated sakes. So there's eight different categories there. And Junmai is one of those categories. And it's something I'm going to be learning about, all those eight categories, what they mean. Um, and I'll look that up later. Um, but this is Junmai. And the, the rice grains are polished down, milled down to 60% at their original volume. And this is 14% alcohol. So what's it like? Nose is really refined. Um, what did I write yesterday? I wrote some notes about this yesterday. Um, it's like really aromatic, sweet and nutty. It's like a little bit of tarragon there, maybe. Um, maybe some rose petal as well. Really, really refined. Mmm. In the mouth, it's got these slight salty hints. It's really elegant, it's smooth. It's fresh still, it's got a little bit of bite on the finish. Um, it's sort of a tip, little bit of plum, a little bit of tarragon. Really nice texture. And it's like lovely saline finish. Really, this is refined. I think this is quite an elegant one. It's got softness and a, and, a, and a depth in the mouth and nothing really sticks out. Um, it's an aesthetic um, sake. The first one um, gave you kind of really obvious flavours. This one is, is more refined um, and there's more to it. It's like um, a frothy exuberance versus something a bit more serious, a bit more intimate. So yeah. Um, now, I have no idea if this is considered to be a good sake or not, and I'm very early on in my journey, but I really quite like that. That's delicious. There you go. So this is my first um, move into learning about sake, which I'm going to be vlogging, and um, um, I think it's going to be a fun journey. Thanks for watching.